And now, pheasant stew with piping hot biscuits in a Dutch oven over an open fire. Well, I'm Bruce Dedick, and I'm a, a long-term resident of South Dakota, born and raised uh, on a ranch north of New Underwood on Elk Creek. And what we're gonna do tonight is show you how to prepare a really awesome pheasant stew with biscuits, just like we were doing it at camp after a long day out hunting for deer, antelope, pheasants, grouse. We're gonna start off with some good South Dakota pheasant breasts. When we're dealing with a wooden cutting board, we definitely don't want to have a situation where we're getting uh, the vegetables in a raw state mixed up with the uh, juices from the pheasant in a raw state. We want to keep that segregated, so we're going to do the meat last. Enhancement to the meal. We want to dice these quite small so that they cook quickly and absorb a lot of the flavor of the rest of the stew. And we're just going to add that in. You're going to want about a cup to a cup and a quarter of that. We need to go on to potato. When we're dealing with raw meat, especially when we're dealing with poultry, we want to make sure that uh, we're not corrupting any of the vegetables until it's going into a good hot cooking container. And we're going to get into the most important part of what we're doing on this recipe, and that is some good South Dakota pheasant breasts. Now we want to keep the meat chunks also fairly small. We want to be cutting cross grain, not with the grain. Now something that's going to really enhance a good stew is mushrooms. And I'm using baby portobellas today. And these we can leave in a little bigger pieces because they are going to reduce down. We're going to start off with about a uh, two tablespoon dollop of extra virgin olive oil. We're going to make sure we've got that coating the bottom of our pan. And we are going to just introduce the meat to that. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of sage, a little bit of rosemary. The stir into that. And we are going to put this into the oven at about 380 degrees with the lid off for about 25 minutes. Now this is the point of cheating. I will be the first to admit, but if you get some good chicken stock, we're going to save a whole lot of time in making our own homemade stock. And another good reason for doing this in the kitchen at home before time, instead of doing it in the field, you don't have to take all this stuff along. We're going to add that directly into our meat stock. And we're going to add our celery. potatoes and our carrots. We have some wonderful mushroom gravy from reducing these mushrooms down and we want to make sure we get every bit of that added into the stew because that contains a tremendous amount of flavor. We are merely lacking the biscuits tomorrow and that'll be the last stage of when we show the final cooking over the campfire done the old-fashioned way just like grandpa used to do it 50 years ago. Well, we got to get our cooking fire going this morning, and a cooking fire is completely different than a heating fire. We want something that's going to cook down in a big hurry and give us some good coals to get some uh, good, solid, consistent heat off of. So we're going to get that wired up and begin the process of putting our meal together. We're not going to cook over open flame. We're going to cook over radiant heat from coals. Well, we've got our fire cooked down to just perfect coals. We've got rid of all the flame. We've got some wonderful embers going here. We're going to lay our cri uh, green crib sticks down to keep that uh, bottom of that cast iron um, Dutch oven up off of the embers themselves, give it a little bit of radiant heat room. And we're going to get our stew on the fire here in just a second. So we're going to take that stew that we made up last night that's all ready to go, and we're going to get it in this pot, and we're going to get it simmering. We've got to bring that stew up to a nice, steady simmer before we add our biscuits. Hey! What? <laughs> what? No freebies for the host. Ooh, doggies. That is looking good, looking good. Very close. We need to put a little bit of heat out towards the edge, take it off the middle here for a few seconds, give it about another two or three minutes. Well, boys, soup's on. Come and get her. 
Speaking of mushrooms, I'm gonna have to have another bowl. I didn't get any mushrooms. What's oh. up with that? Hmm? I think you just ate them all and want more. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm fine. Now, wouldn't that make a perfect end to a perfect day out in the field? <laughs>